This video describes how to bypass a Chamberlain MyQ web interface. Chamberlain does not support SmartThings or Alexa, and they have recently broken third-party fixes for their shortcomings. In a recent video, I demonstrated how easy it is to modify a Chamberlain remote with a Zigbee relay to bypass MyQ altogether. The required hardware is a Chamberlain remote to modify and a Zigbee smart relay switch that replaces the push button on the remote's circuit board. Optionally, I'm using a universal car truck backup reverse warning beeper to create an alarm prior to the gate or garage door moving. It's turned on and off via a Zigbee smart plug, which in turn has a transformer plugged into it that supplies 12 volts DC at 300 milliamps to the warning beeper. The required hardware I use to modify Chamberlain remote is the minimum required to control a gate or garage door opener. The Zigbee relay on the right replaces the manual switch on the remote circuit board. The original video is located in the given URL on YouTube. The optional hardware is used to create a warning alarm to notify nearby individuals the gate or garage is about to open or close. The Zigbee switch gives access to the backup speaker, which is powered by the 12 volt 300 milliamp transformer. I cut the wires on the transformer and attached them to the two terminals on the right side of the speaker. I have WebCore installed in SmartThings, which allows you to create some sophisticated automation scripts that go beyond what is built into SmartThings native automation. I created two pistons, WebCore's terminology for an automation script. The MyGateOff piston handles MyGate virtual switch turning off, closing the Chamberlain gate controller or garage door. The MyGateOn piston handles MyGate virtual switch turning on, opening the Chamberlain gate controller or garage door. The automation ensures the script only runs if appropriate. That is, only open a closed gate and only close an open gate. The two scripts are nearly identical except for the leading conditional statement. Another function is to create a five second delay to allow the warning speaker to sound, which warns nearby individuals of the impending motion of the gate. Most importantly, the scripts activate the Zigbee relay that controls the Chamberlain remote. The difference between the two scripts is the opening if conditional. The remaining code only runs if the conditional is true. Here is the conditional for my gate off. Sensor gates contact is open. The sensor gate contact is a, is a door sensor that I put on the gate. And my gates switch is off. For my gate on, the opposite is true. Sensor gates contact is closed and my gates switch is turned on. The first portion of the common code uh, turns on the gate siren and then it sets a variable L time to the current date and time in milliseconds. After that, it enters a while loop where it tests the scenario of 
the current time minus the time we recorded and checks to see if it's less than 5,000 milliseconds. If it's true, the loop continues and it runs the test again. If it's false, then it breaks out of the loop. The very end of the common script code uh, is the portion where it actually turns on the gate remote. And then the final step is to turn off the gate siren. As part of the demonstration, I set up Android Auto in uh, SmartThings. If your car supports Android Auto, you can set it up by clicking on the menu button at the on the bottom right of the SmartThings display. Clicking on the Android Auto icon in the second display, which loads the Andro Android Auto display. In the Android Auto display, you can select a maximum of six icons. In this example, I've set it up to demonstrate using the MyQ bypass we have been discussing. Finally, there are three demonstration videos. The first is bypassing MyQ using Android Auto to run the arriving scene. The second video demonstrates the living, leaving scene in Android Auto. And finally, the arriving scene in Alexa. This is the gate that I've been describing in my video. I've modified a Chamberlain wireless remote by replacing its mechanical switch with a Zigbee relay switch. The code that I discussed earlier is going to uh, open the gate and open the double garage door and I'm going to do that through a um, an arriving um, scene that was created in SmartThings. One of the things that you can do is if you have an automobile that has Android Auto in it, then you can uh, put up to six icons on the SmartThings display, as you can see here. One of the, the scenes is called arriving, and that's the scene that executes by presence sensor automatically. Well, it, it doesn't actually happen automatically. It gives you a notification, allows you to uh, press uh, the screen to execute it, or you can just do it manually through this icon. Uh, you can see there's also uh, a button for my single garage door, double garage door, and the virtual switch that I've been describing in the video called My Gate. My Gate shows that it's off and as you can see the gate is closed and it also shows the double uh, garage door as being closed. If I execute arriving it will open both of those and I can do that just by pressing the icon on the screen. The beeping you hear is the horn that I described in the video. It's a, uh, it's the uh, speaker that you have on the back of trucks when they're backing up, and they're very inexpensive, less than ten dollars on double Amazon. Garage door just opened. And as you can see, both the gate and the double garage door did open. The leaving scene does just the opposite. After you've left the house, then it closes the gate and the double garage door and of course whatever else you might want to happen when you leave your home like set the alarm for example so I'll press the leaving button and just demonstrate that you can see the double garage door in my rear camera and the five second delay is part of the uh, web core routines that I wrote. 
to delay the closing of the gate and to give people a warning that might be around the it. Gate just closed. That motion is about to occur. The double garage door just closed. That's Alexa telling me the status was uh, uh, happened uh, because mm -hmm. normally when you're doing the uh, leaving scene, you can't see them. So it just verifies that they did indeed close. Finally, I'd like to uh, point out that you can get Alexa for your automobile. Cancel. Hmm, I'm not sure. And it will be able to run the uh, various scenes or individual buttons by voice. So in this case, I'm going to uh, execute the leaving scene with Alexa. Alexa, start leaving. Okay. The double garage door just closed. The gate just closed. So all of this is possible because I modified the Chamberlain remote since they do not support either Alexa or uh, SmartThings.